Mia Cucina. Mia Cucina in Italian means my kitchen. And boy, do I have some deliciousness to show you. It's all about green beans, yes. And green beans, they boost your immune system, which right now we really need to boost our immune system, strong immune system, body going to alkaline, less chance for you to get sick. So I'm gonna put on the fadale, and I'm gonna, I'm, I have chosen a colorful fadale because to our Creator God, we are all beautiful colors, beautiful colors. And I know that things uh, are appearing to be very unsettled, um, but again, it's how we view things. Okay, so that's going to be pretty much what I'm going to say about that. So I'm going to give you the ingredients so then you know what you're going to be doing. I have here a tablespoon of bacon grease. What I did is I took 12 strips of bacon, low sodium, uh, and the bacon that I use, it comes from a farm that they take very good care of the, of the little guys. And then I, I crisp it up really, really well. And then I chopped, you know, and what I did is I chopped it before I cooked it. And then I saved some of the grease, not a lot of the grease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my cast iron pot here. And, um, and I have it, uh, let's see, I'm going to have it on medium to medium high. And I have a tablespoon of that 12 strips of bacon that I have chopped up. I also have here a one sweet organic potato. And what I did to, to make this uh, work a little faster for me, especially for those that are working, the night before, cut them up, put them in the microwave and put them in the oven. Don't cook them all the way so when you come home the next day, you will be able to make this dish in less than half an hour. So I have one sweet potato here, I have one red sliced red onion, and I have a white sliced red onion. I also have a fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. I also have one and a half teaspoons of salt. I also have a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half of uh, ground mustard. I also have here some, uh, I, right now I have two tablespoons of cornstarch, but I'm, it depends on how I'm, this is gonna play out. You know how I am, I, I don't like to measure, but I bring you measurements. And then right here to kind of give a little bit of sweetness, I have a fourth cup of brown sugar. So the first thing that I want to do, la prima cosa, so everybody, la prima cosa, the first thing is, I know it was just here. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> It's one of those days, and you know what I mean. I have a very well oiled pan. I always tell you, when you work with cast iron skill and never use soap, how you clean it is with hot water. So there goes a nice tablespoon over here of this wonderful um, that I have here, humanely raised and low sodium bacon grease. I don't like to use a lot of bacon grease, guys, and I don't use a lot of bacon. But this is like a crossbreed between a potato salad. It's like Dutch inspired. I'm Italian, I'm not Dutch, but I have friends that are Dutch and they introduced me to a three bean salad. So this is a crossbreed between a three bean salad and a potato salad. And I came up with this recipe and I thought I would share it with you guys. So pretty much what I wanna do here is to get my oil nice and hot. And while that, the oil, I mean the bacon grease. And while this is getting where I want it to get, Okay, I'm also going to bring over here a little bit of olive oil. I got to have my olive oil. And I'm just going to probably put about an extra teaspoon in here. Because, you know, we got quite a bit going on with the green on with the onions. And the onions and the bacon. I don't want this to be very, I don't want this to taste uh, a lot of uh, Italian flavor. I just want it to have its own personality. I know, right? An Italian telling you that? Woo! So what I want to do right now is I just want to saute my onions. And I'm telling you, you guys are going to love this dish. Because let me tell you something about green beans. They are loaded and packed with vitamins A, C, and K. Because right now it's needed with everything that's going on. I'm going to turn on my fan because I'm having one of those hot flashes at 6. 63, almost 64. 
All right, let me bring this over here. I have a really cute fan, and my fan has a smiling face. <laughs> you know, we gotta find joy. You know, we gotta be in joy, even though there's a lot of stuff going on right now, guys, and it's not easy. We still have to have joy within our hearts. Because, you know, a lot of sickness comes from stress. Yes, they do. So right now what I want to do is I really want to get this wonderful onions. Oh, yes, they're, they're, you know, they're starting to turn a little bit color. And if you, can, if you see that it's getting a little dry, just a little dry, then instead of adding more bacon grease, I just add a little bit more of olive oil. Just a little bit. And you're still going to get that deliciousness of the bacon. You know, I have done it like this to where I did this where after I cooked all the bacon, but there was way too much grease. And I really don't need that in my body. And I really don't want that. So what I want to do now is I want to come in here and I want to add my uh, parsley cooked sweet potato. It's such a beautiful, pretty dish. And the benefits of this dish is very healthy for you. Also, green beans are rich in fiber, rich in fiber, and they also control blood sugar levels. Did you know that? that actually, green beans control blood sugar levels, and it's beneficial for diabetics, and my husband is a diabetic, and I got him off medication because of the way that I cook, so he no longer takes medication, and we want to make sure that he, you know, that he keeps it that way. So now, also another thing about green beans it is a really good source of phthalate, Fo folate, folate, oh my gosh, F-O-L-A-T-E, something like that, and it lowers high blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, green beans are wonderful for you because they, they help to lower blood pressure. So eat your green beans, guys, eat your green beans. So this dish, it's doing its thing, and it's looking beautiful. So now what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and bring my, my quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. It goes right in there like so. I'm also going to have my teaspoon of the mustard. This is the ground granulated mustard, and like I said, everything that I use is organic. And yes, they do make organic cornstarch, guys. And I just kind of want to mix this up like so because there's not a lot of uh, a lot of uh, other ingredients here other than what I'm showing you. Very simple. It's like a tangy sweet. Uh, it's just marvelous. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and bring my salt in here like so. And I'm using about one and a half teaspoons of salt. Because, you know, what I have here is I have quite a bit of green beans. And I'm just going to add my green beans in there like that. And what I am utilizing, guys, is I am utilizing, I have some fresh green beans. And I'm also utilizing the fresh green beans. I also have the frozen green beans. And I also have the short green beans. So they don't have to be all the same green beans. It, it could be whatever green beans you have. And if you have more than others, by all means, use all right, so now as you can see that we got this going on over here. Oh, it looks beautiful. Where can I show you? Oh, mamma mia. Como mi piace questi cose belle. Okay, so what did I say? I said, oh, mother, how do I love these beautiful things? You know, my mom and my dad, you know, they were very passionate about food. My family, at breakfast, we would talk about what we're going to be having for dinner. We were always very passionate about food. And I never forget my mother-in-law, when she first met me, she said, I never met anybody like you, Elena, that all she thinks about is food. It's because my family, all they thought about was food. Hey! So what I want to do over here is I just want to add, I, what I have here is I have one and a half cups of water. I'm just going to use a little bit of the water. Let me show you just a little bit of the water, maybe about a half of a one and a half, whatever that is, are you mass, mathematicians, wonderful people. Now what I want to do is I want to come over here and I'm also going to bring my uh, quarter cup of uh, packed brown sugar, packed brown sugar, yes, 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 packed brown sugar, and I'm just going to cover this baby up just like that, 
Very simple transaction. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, uh, of this uh, cornstarch, about a teaspoon or so, and I'm just going to kind of just kind of put it in here like that. Just shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of looking at this. I'm going to add maybe another teaspoon of that. I always like to have more. Uh, but I like to start slow because remember what I always tell you, you can add and you can add more, but if you add too much, then you can't take it out. And what this is going to do is going to make this thicker and, and, and give this wonderful, wonderful, uh, silky, like, uh, I'll show you. Get yourself a nice bowl because this is going to go quick, guys, very, very, very quick. So now what I want to do is I want to come in here. I'm going to turn this up. Now I'm going to put it up to high. And now I'm going to start really mixing everybody together. So what the cornstarch does with the water, it gives it like a glaze. Like a beautiful glaze. And the flavors of this, oh, I'm telling you, it is sweet and savory. And with the and then we're going to add the bacon. Yes, we're going to add that. Don't, don't, don't forget about the bacon. No, no, no. Which now is where I'm going to bring in the bacon. And these are quite a bit of bacon. And then I'm just going to keep a little bit so I can garnish and show you how I finish this. This is how fast it goes, guys. So now just start mixing this together. And like I said, what I did is I pre-cooked my sweet potatoes. I pre-cooked them. And remember, the uh, green beans, guys, the first and green beans are already semi-cooked. So they don't take a long time. So what I want to do here is I also have a little bit of water. And I'm just watching this. Uh, it's, it's creating its own water, actually. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And let me show you what this looks like. Let me bring you gently and show you what it looks like. Alrighty, let me do that right now. And, and here it is, guys. Can you guys see that? See how beautiful that is? But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Aspetta. Aspetta. I hope I don't make anybody dizzy. And aspetta in Italian means wait. And it's looking really Oh, the aromas, you can smell the onions, you can smell the bacon already. The bacon is just releasing more and more of its yumminess. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, this is rocking and rolling. Rocking and rolling. So now what I want to do is I'm going to come in here and cover this up again. And I'm going to get myself a spoon. But I just want to make sure that I mix this up so, because sometimes it stays on the bottom. So make sure you mix it up really, really good. I'm probably going to add another spoon, teaspoon in here. Because what I want to do, I don't want this to be really thick. I just want to have like a little glaze over the whole thing. And now I'm going to grab myself a little spoon like so. And then remember what I always tell you when you're tasting to go under. So I'm going to go under. Oh. Yes, it's a singing, it's a singing dish. <laughs> and it's delicious. So I would just cook this for a few more minutes. My potatoes are really holding up really nice. Like I said, if you're a working mom and you know, this is a dish that you can do in a jiffy, in a jiffy. How long ago was it that, that must have been a long time ago we say jiffy. And it's something that, you know, it makes it, and it actually could be an entire meal. It could, it could be, if, you know, if they did not have the bacon, then it could be a vegan. Um, so for vegetarians, I think vegetarians eat bacon. Oh, uh, excuse me, vegetarians. Uh, so this could be a vegetarian dish. And, uh, and now, as you can see, it's almost finished. Now, it doesn't have to have anything else than that. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to take and just get my green bean and taste the green bean. Mmm, mmm, and the green bean is getting the deliciousness from all of it. I guess I am going to, oh yeah, it's almost there, it's almost there. So now what I'm going to do, because it's almost there, that's how quick this works, 
I'm just going to add this right over. See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing, guys? Putting that right in there, just like that. Okay, get that out of the way. Oh, yeah. And it's starting to make that glaze just exactly what I wanted. And I'm telling you, this is, this is a side dish that you will have over and over and over again. And you can take this to, you know, to, uh, to potlucks, you know, when we can have those potlucks. And it's a wonderful side dish. It, again, it could be an entire meal. And it's a beautiful, beautiful dish. And it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. I guess I'm going to taste. Mmm. 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 If you don't want to use olive oil, you may use more bacon grease. I try to really cut down on the grease. I try to cut down on... on uh, on that because you know of the hardening of the arteries and all that good stuff that you know that happens when you get older and so olive oil kind of it, it, I think it's, it's a lot much easier in the system than it is you know the animal uh, fats such as bacon and of course we all love bacon including myself and then so does my husband so this is only almost done guys because I want to show you how I finish this it's almost there. Oh, yes. Oh, here comes the glaze. Oh, it's beautiful. It's actually, it's done. That's how quickly this works. So then what I want to do is I want to get a nice white plate. Oh, see what's happening now is that everything is absorbing. Everything is absorbing and coming together. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. I'm going to give myself a nice slotted spoon here. And I'm going to put it on a plate, and then I'm going to tell you how I'm going to finish it. Oh, you see this, guys? You see this, guys? See where I'm going with this? It's beautiful. It's delicious. It's healthy. And, you know, the sweet potatoes, you know, they have their own yumminess. They have their own wonderfulness. And I'm telling you, this can feed an army. And trust you, me, if we don't need all of this, I will put it in baggies and I will freeze it. So if I'm really busy on the day that I am doing the minister part, because you know I'm also an ordained minister, I I can take this out of the freezer. I can put it, you know, I can put it in a, in some hot water um, or in a microwave, and then you have it all there. And then I still have a little bit more because I'm not leaving anything in here. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, oh, it looks so beautiful. Oh, yes. And now, ha, 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 ha. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, I know you're ready. I'm going to take my bacon, and I'm just going to put that on top like so, so then you know that there's baking, and everything is glistening because we did that wonderful glaze. And look at this guys this is my beautiful take on green bean potato salad healthy way and that's all i have for you today i want to thank my wonderful sponsor sponsors cola harris with pharmacy for making me beautiful and also for the wonderful products because they do not have a, they, it's chemical uh free and i try to keep my body uh as less chemical as possible. I also want to thank my friend Dario Rodriguez with uh, Life and Food Superstores at Ellington, Florida. I also want to thank my other sponsor, Stephen Bailey, which he provides me with the most beautiful fish from Bailey Fish and Shutters. If you're in Tampa Bay, contact him, because let me tell you, he gets the big fish. Okay, Bailey, that's all I have for you. God bless every single one of you. I love every single one of you. Enjoy!